Welcome back, January. I missed you so much. <laughs> Greetings and salutations, everybody. Welcome to the Mothman Jones Movie Channel. I'm your host, John Maffio. Welcome to 2017. 2017, we're in January. And you know what that means? We're in the dumping ground of cinema once again. Now, granted, there are exceptions and anomalies to this where there are good movies in January sometimes. But um, I don't know why I was expecting Underworld Blood Wars to be good. It actually starts off okay, but uh, it turns out it is just another really repetitive, um, lazily, complacently done film. Uh, it's not good. So this is the fifth installment in the Underworld franchise, and we once again return to Kate Beckinsale's character, Celine. She's a vampire, she kicks ass, she wears leather, and she has a tight butt, and she just likes to kill lichens, or as the, they're werewolves. But um, there's this ongoing war between the lichens, as they're called, werewolves, and the vampires. But there was the hybrids that are both in his pure blood, and Kate Beckinsale's daughter, who she has no idea where she is, has the pure blood to save the war. And they're just trying to find the blood, you know, because there's a war and there's blood, and it's a blood war. So, I mean, in these blood wars, blood must be shed and also must be found. What? I had no expectations. For this film. I went into it knowing that I've seen a couple of the previous films. I've seen the first two and bits and pieces of the rest. And um, I have a decent idea of the story so I'm not like lost or anything. But um, going into it, the first 20-25 minutes, I was actually engaged. As lazily executed as the expository dialogue was and how the story was being portrayed through narration and really choppy visuals, I was actually kind of enjoying seeing these characters interact with each other, seeing Tywin Lannister come back and uh, do his thing as his character. Nothing was compelling, but everything was mediocre or just decent enough to keep the story serviceable from a viewing experience. But then midway through the movie, somewhere in the second act, we get into the fixtures, the details, and the twists of the war. The story gets so convoluted, and then add on to that the really choppy and terrible editing, and include with flashbacks. The movie should have been called Underworld Flashback Wars, because I feel like every five seconds there were flashbacks. And we were seeing flashbacks, a lot of times, of things from previous movies, but also things that happened in the movie five, ten minutes prior. You don't have to beat your audience over the head with visuals that they already saw to, you know, keep the story progressing. The film doesn't do a good job of expanding on its mythology while also having fun with its story and then getting to some really good action sequences. The action sequences also are really terribly done. First of all, you can't see anything. Uh, I don't know if it was just because my projector was dark in the theater, but I couldn't see anything going on in the action sequences. Um, very dimly lit sets. Um, when you do see action, it's like close up, it's shaky, and there's stunt choreography going on that's really hard to define. And then where these cool character moments, these cool money shots happen, you don't even get to appreciate them because they happen so anticlimactically. If I told you out loud through words what the scene was, you'd probably really enjoy and like what I have to say, but the execution in the actual movie falls terribly flat. But if the movie wasn't spilling exposition enough throughout the film, the ending is just like the weirdest out there ending that kind of leaves the movie open for another entry. But I feel like if you care about this franchise that much, you can't even get excited about it because they don't do a good job of setting up the next entry. It just kind of ends. It just kind of makes you accept, oh, there's going to be more story. But it happens so, again, anticlimactically. I don't know, maybe I'm expecting too much from Underworld Blood Wars, but this was a mediocre movie that could have been a lot of fun to watch, it just wasn't though. I enjoyed it in the beginning, and as the movie moved on, it just got progressively worse and worse. And it could have been a Sam Worthington, to be perfectly honest, just, which isn't great, but it's not terrible either. But because this film and its story dissipates and descends so steeply, I can't get it that far. I'm gonna give Underworld Blood Wars a 1 out of 5. It's a nuisance. Underworld Blood Wars, once again, like many other movies out there, proving to the world and audiences that a cool concept and a really attractive main lead actress aren't enough. They just aren't enough. <laughs>
But now I want to know from you guys. What did you think of Underworld Blood Wars? Let me know in the comments down below. Did you enjoy this? Or are you out there seeing better movies? Like I should probably be doing. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please like. Subscribe if you haven't already, please. And check out the rest of my social medias and my Odyssey page down below. I'm John Maffio, a.k.a. Mothman Jones. 2017 is a thumping, and it's a pumping, and we are a moving, a moving, a moving along. See you guys next time.